Oh yes. You all know what this means, don't you? Oh. I would have waited an eternity for this. This is, of course... Fallout 3. What's going on guys, The Inhuman Beatdown, and I'm back with my playthrough of Fallout 3. So, a while back, I asked you guys, which would you rather see, The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, or Fallout 3? And the question before this was, because I, I wanted to do both games, because I had been playing a lot of Fallout 3 at that time, and of course, many of people who have been to my live streams have seen the, uh, Skyrim playthrough, and I was trying to decide on which one I do, so I left it to you guys to decide. And an overwhelming amount of people decided that I should play Fallout 3. So here I am. Now for those who have watched me play Skyrim, I'm going to be doing the same thing in here. And what is that you may be asking if the fucking person next door wasn't mowing his goddamn lawn? Anyways, I like to take RPGs above and beyond by actually role-playing a character when I play. So, when I create a character, I make specialized rules for the character about what I can and cannot do. We'll actually be getting more into that as we go through because we have kind of a, a prologue period to get past first, so, yeah. But I will slowly build my character from there. So, uh, without much more to say, let's get on with the game. Start a new game. Vault 101 security officers are handpicked by the overseer. Oh. Oh, good. This part. Uh. uh if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to speak over this because this is a copywritten song and I'd rather not get flagged for copyright. Copyright is bad in all respects, even though I'm pretty sure this isn't technically a legal issue over copyright. But in case you're wondering what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing for. But if you'd like to go look at this song, go look it up on YouTube. I can't remember what it's called right now, but it's a very happy olden times like 50s song. Why it got copyrighted is beyond me seeing as how it's old as dirt, but hey, I'm not the one who makes decisions around here now, am I? Because I don't like getting flagged for copyright, because those things take like a month to get past, and I don't like waiting for a month to go and decide, oh hey, that thing I made that I really wanted to make a little bit of money on, yeah, you can't do that because this belongs to us, and I'm like, oh, that's so bad, I'm a sad, I'm gonna go cry in the back of my bus that is apparently destroyed. Actually, this is a good time to point out that if any of you have never played, if any of you have never played a Fallout game before, we're actually in a post-apocalypse. We're finally fading away from the music, which is why I'm talking regularly. Fallout Universe actually takes place in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. I want your body. Bethesda Game Studios presents Fallout 3. I'll explain a little bit of the lore as we continue on for now, but yeah. War. I just want to make it past that part. War never changes. Oh. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, Blood has been spilled in the name of everything, from God, to justice, to simple psychotic rage. I forgot this was in here. It just goes to show how many times I skip it. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. Always fun. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. And the next X-Men movie. Had succeeded in destroying the world. But war... War never changes. You blew it up! 
damn you! Damn you to hell! You damn dirty humans! <laughs> In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. So this is all Holocaust's fault. Knew it. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. Hmm. It was here you were born. It was? It is here you will die. Oh. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters. And no one ever leaves. Part of the crew, part of the ship, part of the crew, part of the ship. Hope you guys like the miracle of childbirth. Oh good, Professor Oak is here to greet me. <laughs> I am a man! A man's man, some dare say. It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh. Oh, oh James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. Yeah. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Doubtful. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. <laughs> you sound like Liam Neeson. <laughs> That's strange. Mama and I have been talking. What do you think about... Player name. I love it. It's a wonderful name. Actually, can I... There we go. Before this goes on too long. I actually hate the fact that effects and stuff are... We're going to actually turn radio all the way off. Uh, for those who don't know, that one song at the beginning is not the only copyright copywritten song that I'd rather avoid in this game. I'm going to be turning the radio completely off. Which is a bit sad because we're also going to miss one of my favorite characters by the that I'll get into later. Let's see, turn the voice all the way up. What's up doesn't really need to be loud. Uh, music. A little bit... Yeah, right there. There we go. Now, hopefully, Liam Neeson will speak louder. By the way, yes, that is actually Liam Neeson providing the voice of my dad. God, I hope I hope I get taken so someone tr so he can kill them. Anyways, so a name. Also, I love the fact that, uh, despite the fact I'm playing this on PC, for those who don't know, with my controller, I still gotta use the fucking keyboard to type this shit in. Uh, I'm terrible with names, especially human names. I much prefer fantasy type scenarios where I can just call myself like Gilgnax or Baragon, Pharos. Yep, Pharos. Problem solved. That's a good name, don't you think? I Fins do indeed. Perfectly. I wrote it. <laughs> Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Yay! Making my character! I don't know if you guys want to see this, because frankly I'm really boring when it comes to making characters. That's Heather's forte, not mine. Uh, shape, yeah, that looks fine. Green eyes doesn't make a fucking difference. I can't tell. <laughs> I can't fucking tell at all. Uh, back... Next, hairstyle. Uh, what I've always wanted? Be bald. Be bald at the ripe age of 37. Uh, here we go. I'll make this. No. Uh, you know what? I'll just. There you go, I like that. Uh, facial hair. 
That is not a fucking goatee, I hate to inform you, game. I wish to be eight, the ripe, the ripe age of eighteen with a soul patch. All right, done. You're going to look a lot like your dad. I doubt See that. that, Catherine. Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? Excellent question. J James? James? Something's... Catherine? Something's... Catherine. She's in cardiac arrest. Start compressions. Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! Ah, can't one, be good. One thousand. Two. One thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Oh, Come God! On. The light! Blinded <laughs> by the light! The doctor, not a dead Failed to meet my expectations no. that there will be no repercussions. Don't James look straight into the light. Operations. Operations. Yeah, it's right. it's just something you could use. Just like her. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. I'm apparently one year old. Hey! Just a little further. Damn, Damn Ethan, sounds like you're straining your voice my there. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. I like walking. My mother would have been so proud. I take it she's Listen, dead. Kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy <laughs> runs to his office. You'll be okay Maybe this now. is why all your kids end up getting taken, Liam Neeson. I'm just saying, you keep leaving them alone! Dick. <laughs> All right, so we're still kind of in like the early stages of everything. We already went through the customer characterization, but for those who have played a good, I learned how to pick objects up. <laughs> but for those who have played a uh, Fallout game before, you know there's also that it's also an RPG. So let's go fix up my stats, shall we? Uh, I'm basically just supposed to look at shit. <laughs> pick door. Damn it. Look at the Your Special book! Because despite what they tell you, you're not really that special. Come here, teddy bear. We're gonna do shit together. Baba. Special! So this augments uh, 10 very special stats that were not 10, but 7 very special stats that will basically determine what I can do with my characters. So, S is for strength, and that means I am strong. I can carry more toys and swing stuff all day long. Now what I like to do is subtract all the points out, because at the end we get the full list, and I can easily maintain it there. P is for perception. A long, funny word. It means what I tasted, smelled, saw, and heard. I love rhyme. E is for endurance, and that's how long I can play. I'm always really healthy and have energy all day. C is for charisma. It's why people think I'm great. I make my friends all laugh and smile and never want to hate. Okay, we're pushing it a little now. <laughs> I is for intelligence. It means I'm really smart. I use my brain for lots of stuff like science, math, and art. A is for agility. That's how I get around. I move real fast and easy and I never make a sound. I'm secretly a ninja. I'm Batman. <laughs> L is for luck, and it's simple, you see. It means that good things always happen to me. Alright, so let me put those in perspective for what, in case you didn't quite get it. So, strength is how much I can carry things, and how quickly I can do stuff, and how strong I am. Perception is for being able to see objects from far distances, or just be able to, like, touch things or listen for things but for uh, the most part it's for seeing enemies distances away the higher your perception the farther you'll be able to see enemies before they actually come to you endurance self-explanatory it's defense charisma is basically my ability to talk to people how people respond to me from just communicating with them intelligence uh, intelligence buffs up 
Aside from several things that require intelligence checks, or intelligence checks, which is basically you need so many points to do this and this and this, uh, this also distributes uh, stat points. So the more intelligence you have, the more points you'll get. Fun thing you know. Agility, you know, I've never really noticed what the point of having agility was, aside from being able to get certain perks that we'll talk about later, but aside from that, I guess it makes it where I can bounce around super easy. And luck is simply that of luck, being able to find shit. There are a couple things that require luck, so keep that in mind. So for this, bump that up to a 7. I want this to be a 5. This gets to be 9. You should never put any of your points up to 10, and I'll explain why later. But, just a thing to keep in mind. There we go. So I have a 9 strength, a 1 perception, a 7 in endurance, 6 in charisma, intelligence at a 9, and agility at a 2. Because I was always taught to myself that I should both be able to better myself using not only my fist, but my brain as well. And I just have some reasonably good luck. However, due to that fact, due to that, I'm usually just good at boxing. But unfortunately, due to, a, due to something that'll happen later on in my childhood, because it hasn't happened yet, I'm grafting my story as I go along, I'll be knocked in the face and unfortunately, something will happen with my eyes and I won't be able to see all that well. And as for agility, well, just because I can swing around doesn't mean I'm... Actually, due to having a bulky body, I'm not very agility. Or, uh, agile. There we go! Problem solved! Fixed it! <laughs> all done. Come on, teddy bear. Let's go exploring. I'll pick this door yet. Or not. I didn't do it, I swear. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. Okay. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Fascinating. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Yay, play! Whee! And actually, this is a good part to uh, stop right here. So, next time, we actually get to continue the days of my life. So until then, I will catch you all later. Asta. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Fallout 3. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, please hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go back out into the wasteland. Search for our dad. Survive this apocalyptic wasteland. Murder everyone that comes in my path. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta. <laughs>